Fortnite squad. Hey guys, Multi here, and in today's video, I'll be showing what Fortnite looks like in NVIDIA GeForce Now. Just in case you guys don't know what NVIDIA GeForce Now is, it's basically a live streaming service. It connects your computer to a computer over at NVIDIA servers, and basically it live streams one of their gaming computers to your computer. And the thing is, you can have like a really, really bad graphics card, or a good one, it doesn't really matter. But you can have even a computer from 2005 running this, and it can run most games up to 120 frames a second. The only recommendation NVIDIA GeForce has is that you should probably have a network bandwidth over 7 megabits per second. But that's basically all you need to run NVIDIA GeForce now. So here is the streaming quality settings. All you have to do is hit the little settings bar up here. And you can go with three presets or you can make your own little streaming quality setting. So yeah, the most popular games right now are obviously Fortnite, there's Overwatch, Players Unknown Battlegrounds, Counter-Strike, Warframe, and League of Legends. I don't know how recently this gets updated. I've only been in NVIDIA GeForce for a day, so I'm not actually 100% sure how much the new releases get updated, but this is basically all the games it supports so far. Also, I should probably say that none of these are free unless you go to the free to play section. Um, and here's how that works. So let's say I open up Fortnite. It's gonna make another window. This is the computer, basically. And as you can see, it's automatically putting me and the Epic Games launcher. And this is the part where it shows that you can't bypass games and play them free because it's gonna open up their launcher. And obviously, you're gonna need an account and everything, so if you don't have an account for a game that costs money, you obviously can't play it. Also, if you go ahead and minimize this, this is actually the desktop, it doesn't have anything on it. And that's the sound it makes when you try to click anything. Alright, so here we are, and you can go ahead and launch the game. You can have an option to show your network settings up here, so it tells you if your internet is being bad or if it's like really good. And it also shows your FPS counter up here. Alright, so here we are in Fortnite, and as you can see, it looks normal. Um, you can see over here in the right that I'm getting 800 frames a second, and let me remind you that this is actually using nothing on my computer but internet. It is not using my graphics card or anything, it's simply using internet and live streaming it to my computer. And it's live streaming the NVIDIA gaming computer to my computer. The part that amazes me the most is that there's almost no latency somehow. There's no latency in the mouse, which is very good. The mouse is very precise. It's almost like it's your own mouse on your computer. So as you can see, I'm getting about 300 frames, but I'm not using the highest settings. We can go ahead and switch the settings over to Epic. And as you can see, I still get about 200 only in lobby though. Again, let me remind you that I'm not using my graphics card to run this. It's simply live streaming it from NVIDIA servers. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get into a solo game and I'll show you guys what gameplay looks like. Alright, so here I am in a game. It's still running very smooth. So once you actually get in game, you can tell that it's live streaming because of the quality. It's almost like watching a live stream on YouTube, except you're actually controlling it. Like if you open up the map, you can kind of tell there's fuzziness here and there, like a normal live stream on YouTube would have. Overall, I would say if your computer cannot run Fortnite well, but you still really want to play the game in a full 60 frames a second, um, you're gonna want to have this. Like, it, it's honestly kind of crazy how well it live streams games. I can tell you one thing right now. Uh, I would almost prefer this because it's a little stronger than my computer, I believe. 
If I was running on all epic settings, I don't think I could get this high of frames a second, but I would still probably prefer my own computer to run Fortnite because uh, a little bit lower latency in the mouse movements. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure NVIDIA GeForce now actually runs off of a GTX 1080. I can tell you for a fact right now, it's not running off of a GTX 1060 because my computer would have a little lower FPS. So it's definitely using a GTX 1080 or a 1070, I can't tell. I have been reading up a little bit on the program as well, and in the future I've seen that it might cost money, but right now if you sign up for the beta, you will have it for free. I don't know if you sign up for the beta and it keeps your account, I, I don't know if it'll still let you have it for free permanently. Or if it's going to make you pay in the future. I would imagine it's going to make you pay in the future though. A lot of people signed up for this. And they know what it is. So uh, I can't imagine that many people getting it for free. Just because they signed up during beta. I'm very sure all of the people that have it will be charged to use it soon in the future. I would say the best part about this though is that like you don't even have to download anything other than NVIDIA GeForce now. Like, you don't even have to install Fortnite, it's just there. That's really cool if you ask me. Alright, so this guy's gonna go try hard against me. Okay, good to know, good to know. Very try hard against me. Okay! You have a shotgun. Whoa! Oh, that kind of scared me. Holy crap. Oh, crap. It didn't give me any medium ammo. This is not good. Okay. Um, This guy's coming for me, I feel like. Yes, he is. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Dude, if you actually kill me, I'm gonna be mad. Why are my stairs rotated? No! Alright, so in all honesty, this is actually just crazy. I don't even understand why it's not even paid yet. Like, this is crazy for NVIDIA to do something so big and yet it's free. And it's still insane to me that this is only in beta. GeForce now is only in beta because, like, it. It's, it's literally streaming Fortnite and 1080p at 120 frames a second. No issues at all. Like I was talking about earlier about having to pay for this in the future, honestly, you're gonna wanna pay for it. I have no idea if it's gonna be a one-time payment or if it's like a payment per hour kind of thing for renting a computer, but if it's a one full-time payment and even if it's about a hundred bucks, you're gonna wanna do it if you have a like a low-end kind of computer. It's literally streaming Fortnite in 1080p, epic graphics at 144 frames a second, which is what you want. So you're gonna want to buy this if you really want to play video games on your computer at really high graphics. And also I really like the steps that Nvidia is taking in this because it's really going to grow the PC community as well. And I feel like if they make it a one-time payment thing and it's going to be cheaper than like PS4 and an Xbox you're immediately gonna want to pay for this instead of an xbox like honestly at this point if you buy like a ps4 or an xbox instead of this if only if it's a one-time payment that's kind of dumb especially now that more and more games are supporting crossplay. but that's basically it for this video all i wanted to show was nvidia geforce and i did so yeah it's the end of the video i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye